habitat and adaptation. We find living things, both plants and animals, all around us. Animals adjust well to live in their immediate surroundings and move around to breathe, to reproduce, find food and also to raise their young ones. An animal's immediate environment which suits its requirements is called its habitat and its ability to adjust to its environment is called adaptation. Adaptation for habitat Let us learn more about adaptation in animals on the basis of their habitats. Depending on the environment in which they live, animals can be classified into terrestrial animals, arboreal animals, aquatic animals, amphibians and aerial animals. Terrestrial animals Animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. These animals generally use their lungs as breathing organs and their legs to walk. A snake lives on land but it does not have legs. It crawls with the help of its scales. A camel lives in the hot dry desert. Its long legs keep the body away from the hot sand while its thick lips and tongue help it to eat the thorny bushes found in deserts. The camel's hump is a storehouse of fat that it uses when it does not get any food or water for days on end. The polar bear, a terrestrial animal that lives in the extremely cold polar region, has very thick fur which protects it from extreme cold. It eats lots of fish and seals in the brief summer season and stores fat in its body. This helps it to survive the long winter months when there is no food available. Unlike man, there are some animals which become inactive during harsh winters or severely hot summers. Animals like bats and squirrels, mice and bears sleep through the winters since their bodies are unable to adjust to the extremely low temperatures. These animals are called hibernating animals and their winter sleep is called hibernation. Arboreal animals Koala bears, monkeys, chameleons, lizards and squirrels live on trees most of the time. They are thus known as arboreal animals. Arbre, French word for tree. The tree is their natural habitat. Arboreal animals have strong claws to cling to branches. Monkeys have long, strong tails with which they can swing from the branches of trees. Aquatic animals Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. Ducks, whales, dolphins, swans, turtles, crabs, etc. And different kinds of fish are all aquatic animals. 
They all feed on aquatic plants and other water creatures. Fish have gills as their breathing organ. Their streamlined body and fins help them swim and steer through the water. Whales and dolphins also live in water but come up to the surface to breathe because they use their lungs and not gills for breathing. Some birds live in water or near water bodies. Ducks have webbed feet and turtles have flippers to swim. Cranes and flamingos have long thin legs that help them wade through the water. They feed on fish which they catch with their long beaks. Amphibians Some animals live in water as well as on land. They are called amphibians. Frogs, toads and salamanders are amphibians. They are able to live in water as well as on land. They breathe through their lungs when on land. Their moist skin helps them to breathe when they are in water. Aerial animals Animals that fly and spend most of the time in air are called aerial animals. Their hollow, lightweight bones, streamlined body and wings help them to fly. Most birds, except the flightless ones such as the ostrich and the penguin are aerial animals. Also, the bat flies in the air but it is not a bird. It is a mammal. Migration Migration is the mouse movement of animals and birds from one region or habitat to another. In certain seasons, animals and birds migrate in order to breed, find food or avoid the extremely cold weather. Siberian cranes and the flamingo are migratory birds. Adaptation for food Animals can also be classified on the basis of the kind of food they eat. They depend on their immediate environment for their food. Carnivores, omnivores and herbivores have different types of adaptations that help them get the food that they eat. Herbivores Animals that eat plants or their parts are called plant-eating animals or herbivores. Elephants, cows, horses, giraffes, goats, sheep and deer are some examples. Their white jaws and sharp front teeth help them to cut grass and their flat grinding teeth at the back help them to chew the grass. The trunk of the elephant and the long neck of the giraffe helps them to break and eat leaves from trees. Squirrels have big strong teeth 
that help them to crack open hard seeds and nuts. Carnivores Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called flesh-eating animals or carnivores. Tigers, lions and foxes are some examples. Carnivorous animals have long, sharp teeth and claws which help them to tear the flesh. They also have very strong legs which help them to catch their prey. Snakes are carnivorous animals. They use their scales to move fast on the ground. They swallow their prey fully. Eagles and vultures are carnivorous birds. They have sharp claws and beaks to catch their prey and tear its flesh. Omnivores Animals like rats, monkeys, peacocks and crows feed on plants as well as on animals. These are therefore called omnivores. Humans and bears are also omnivorous animals. Adaptation for protection Animals always have to protect themselves from their enemies, bigger animals and human beings. Their adaptation helps them to escape very quickly before the predator can even catch them. Some animals like deer, zebra and ostrich have strong legs. Some animals are able to merge with their surroundings so well that it becomes difficult to spot them. This is known as camouflage. Observe the animals in the picture. A walking stick insect looks almost like a twig. Frogs, some owls and chameleons can change the color of their skin to match their surroundings. A katydid insect looks exactly like a leaf. A grasshopper merges well with its surroundings. The white fur of a polar bear matches with the surrounding snow, making it difficult to be spotted. The stripes on a zebra or tiger make it very difficult to be spotted easily in the forest. Some animals like tortoises and snails have hard shells on their bodies to protect themselves. Porcupines have spines. Hence, it becomes very difficult for the enemy to attack it. Some animals like rhinoceros and buffaloes use their horns for fighting. Thus, we have learnt about the adaptations in animals.